At the same time, he was amassing wealth, fame and power. R. Kelly was sexually abusing children, but even after being handed a 30-year sentence, little remorse. Does he recognise any extent that his behaviour was wrong? Uh, as, as I said in court, Mr Kelly has regrets, but no, he's not guilty of the charges for which he's been convicted. Earlier, the singer was forced to sit and listen as victims described him as disgusting and despicable. One told the court Kelly was a pied piper who lured children with his money and celebrity. Judge Anne Donnelly said there were few crimes more serious than serial rape and abuse over many years. But the most troubling aspect of this case is the fact that R. Kelly got away with it for years. He was a predator operating in plain sight, and it seemed to be an open secret that he was a sexual abuser. For those whose lives he damaged, relief. I stand here very proud of my judicial system, very proud of my fellow survivors, and very pleased with the outcome. 30 years did he do this, and 30 years is what he got. Why did it take the police so long? Why did it take the police so long? Are you frustrated it took so long for you to get justice? I can't speak to why it takes anyone the amount of time that it takes. But they've done their homework, they've presented their case, and now we have justice in our judicial system. R. Kelly now faces a further trial for child pornography offences, which he denies. The singer will be in his mid-80s before he's considered for release. Joe Pike, Sky News, New York.